Hello, hello, let's see else. This is Loot Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of East 8. Alright, let's go out of here. Alright, let's talk. Hello, guys. Hey, it's Adol and the lady. Where'd you find that, said, uh, get up, Adol? It looks good, huh? A special gift from a special someone. I look good, right? Huh? Yeah. That outfit looks like it was tailor-made for you. I mean, your sailor outfit was alright, but this looks like something an adventurer would wear. Anyway, what are you two doing here? Sahad and I woke up early. Feeling pretty hungry, so we came here. Gotta eat breakfast and take a dump afterward, or else... I get all antsy. Excuse me? Would it kill you to behave like a... Behave with a little modicum... Minicum of modesty? You know, like a proper adult? I'm guessing he's not the only one who's hungry. <laughs> What's the matter? Feeling hungry too? <laughs> Sounds like you got a healthy appetite. <laughs> how, how dare you? That most definitely was not me. M Mr. Kristen, apologize at once for making such a vulgar noise. That uh, wasn't me. I'll, uh, be more careful. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest here and say it wasn't me. But, but, who else could have been if not you? <laughs> She's embarrassed. Anyway, uh, we're definitely gonna fall behind if we head out on an empty stomach. I got a lot of heavy lifting to do, but um, I'll see what to do about our food situation first. Say, Chad, you're a fisherman, right? Think you could uh, catch us some fish to eat? Huh? Who do you think you're talking to? I just gotta screw up the right tools first, but yeah, I can make that happen. Well, that settles it. Why don't you head to the beach with Dad and catch us some breakfast? In the meantime, I'll get a fire ready so we can cook our catch. Sounds lovely. M must I really go to? I've never caught a fish before. Alright, we'll help you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll teach you how to bait a hook and cast a line. Remember, if you wanna eat, you gotta fish. Hmm, very well then. Oh yeah, one last thing, Adol. I've uh, prepped some uh, facilities in the village that might help you out. Facilities? A toolsmith? And a storage? And a cooking area. Well, I guess they're not facilities in the usual sense. Still, we... Why don't you shake them out before you head to the beach? Yeah, we can shake them out. 
Uh, we gotta be fast or else Lexia's stomach is gonna grumble at us. <laughs> I, I already said that noise didn't come from me. You mad. <laughs> Alright, let's check these out. These look like supplies for making medicine. We should be able to prepare basic field items with this. Nice. Might be good to keep supplies of medicines on hand, wouldn't you say? Yes, but don't we need a s container to keep it in? Wait, Mr. Kristen, didn't you have an empty bottle on hand? Perhaps we can use that. Ah, I get it now. If we run out of medicine, we can just make more and refill an empty bottle. Yes, let's be careful with any empty bottles we find. They're a valuable resource on a deserted island. Indeed. Not something you come across too often. This looks like where Dodgy is storing all the village materials. There's a note here, let's read it. Warehouse rules. The materials in the warehouse belongs to everyone. Help yourself to anything you need, but don't forget to replace it with something of equal value. Management Dodgy. Remind me of an old-timey trading system. <laughs> Bet this come in real handy. Yeah, it's a great idea. Alright, and the last one is up here. Hammer and a rusty anvil. What's this for? For maintaining our weapons. For cooking tasty meals. Maintaining weapons. True, we might be able to do some minor upkeep on our weapons. Oh, I get it now. Simple, but helpful. All we need to do need to maintain our weapons are the proper materials materials oh that reminds me found this near the shore iron ore times five obtained this might come in handy if you have time let's try it out enhancing weapons Refine weapon. Alright. Um, yeah, we do have the materials for it, so... Oh, short sword, level 2. Guess I can bring it up one more. To level max. And I guess we could upgrade your rapier. Okay, we are low on iron ore. We could upgrade yours though. Okay, sweet. So let's head to the beach. Ooh, I see some fish down there. Adol and the others went to the beach and used the driftwood to make improvising fishing rods. From there, the head began to teach them how to fish. 
with waves this come this is a perfect day for fishing all right let's catch us some fish where do we even start typically you want to find a spot where there's a lot of fish and cast your line there isn't spotting fish easier said than done yeah <laughs> Lucky for us, there are lots of fishing swimming around this island. We don't gotta look that hard to find them. Look over there. Check it out. Is that? Aye, there's our fish shadows. Means there's a fish gathering near that spot. Might even reel in a big catch if you're lucky. If you ever want to fish, keep your eyes peeled for signs of fish activity. That makes sense. One more thing. Can't catch without bait. Can't fish without bait. Eight times ten obtained. Ugh, obviously, we need bait. I just wish uh, it wasn't worms. <laughs> Fish tend to like local baits, you know? Nearby critters and such. Let's do a little exploring and you'll find a whole bunch of them. Anyway. Experience is the best teacher. Come on, let's do some fishing. Sounds good to me. Alright, so press up to pull out your fishing rod and then X to cast. On a fish bite, press X. Use X and the left to reel in the catch. Alright, cool. Alright, he already explained about the shadows. All right, got it. Yeah, that's looking pretty small. Oh, I got a bite. Ugh. It's stronger than I expected. I, I did it. Look, everyone. See what I caught. Huh? I mean, I'm just so surprised that I was able to catch one. Not bad, you're pretty good for a beginner. I think you two got a real potential. R really? Can't explain what came over me, but it was rather enjoyable. <laughs> you guys keep those rods. Use them whenever you... Get the fishing edge. Also, it'll be real helpful if you guys could record every fish you catch. Especially if you catch a carbon fur and grilled fish. <laughs> Alright, got ourselves a fishing rod. Beat. Looks like we cut enough to make a hearty breakfast. Yes, I believe we finished everything that was asked of us. Let's return to Dodgy. And fi the fire should be ready by now. Sweet. Kind of a relaxing episode today, isn't it? I love it. Alright, we caught some fish. Welcome back. Did you uh, check out the facilities? Sure did. They'll come in handy. I wish there was more. They'll come in handy. <laughs> you mean it? Then I'm glad I got them all set up. How'd the fishing go? <laughs> 
see for yourself. Wow, nice haul. I'll start cooking him up right away. But how should I prepare them? We don't got much to work with in terms of seasoning. We'll have to make do with natural flavors for the catch. In that case... I'll whip up some fish soup. As for cooking utensils, I'll just have to water some wood and use that. Make sure you don't chuck the bones. You can use them to make a hearty broth. Oh, good idea. Do you know how to cook too? I'm decent at it, I guess. I'm an outdoorsman, so... I'm decent? Uh, oh, I see. You don't know how to cook, Lexia. Oh well, I guess... It's not that surprising. S sorry? I'm just used to servants preparing my meals. And this is a great opportunity. The recipe for this soup is so simple, everyone can follow it. Why not use it to practice your cooking? How considerate of you. Thank you. Received a recipe for fish soup. All right, now we can cook some food! <laughs> Love it. There's a lot of elements to this game, and that is just awesome. Blech. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do you think, Lexi? Lexia? Is your stomach finally full? Yes, thank you. I was wondering... How we'd feed ourselves on this island, but I guess that won't be an issue for us. Now then, Mr. Kristen. We should begin our search for other survivors. Ah, that's right. You better get a move on, Adol. But before we head out, you might want to check in with Captain Barbaros. Good idea. He just came back, so I know he's around here somewhere. Sorry, I can't be more specific. Hey, that's cool, man. No worries. I would guess he's probably up here somewhere. Right there, apparently. Oh, that's... that's a parrot. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Captain. Morning, morning. <laughs> and it's dark. Huh? That bird just talk at us? It appears to be some sort of parrot. It seems awfully domesticated. Did you capture it, Captain? Um, domesticated. It does, though I suspect it is simply unafraid of people, having lived its entire life on this uh, deserted island. I thought he could prove useful if I taught him some simple words to use. Oh, I see. He's pretty smart for a bird. Indeed. He has already learned basic greetings, so I suspect he comes in... comes from good stock. He needs a name, though. 
Speaking of words, my daughters just start talking on her own too. Oh, that's sweet. Wait, you're what? You, you, you have a daughter? Huh? Of course I do. And let me tell you something, little lady. My wife is every bit as beautiful as you are. R really? For some reason, I'm very curious to meet her. <laughs> well, if we get out of here alive, you can come and meet my family. Not many outsiders come to visit, so it'll be a real treat for them. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Got any little ones, Captain? Yes, actually, a young daughter, just like you. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Sounds like we both got one hell of a good reason to get out of here alive. Hmm. <clears throat> Indeed we do. By the way, Adol, there's something I'd like to share with you before you go. We'll need a wide variety of materials to finish building Castaway Village. But Dodgy and I will never be able to gather all the materials we need on our own. So, I'd like you to help us gather the materials we need while you explore. That shouldn't be a problem. Materials for building a village, huh? So, stuff like wooden stone? Actually, what we need will vary depending on what we want to build. So, I come up with a bulletin board system. That way people can write down what we need. If you ever need anything specific, just write it here for all to see. Got it. We should check the bulletin board whenever we return to the village then. Right, cool. That's all for now. Please continue your search for any other castaways. I'm counting on you. All right, well, tell you what. I think I'm going to end off this episode here. A bit of a calming one. We just done breakfast and checking around our newfound home. But yeah. As I said, ending it off here. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye bye.